Hello and welcome here. The Champions League returns to Talking FCB and we're going to be talking today about the match between Barcelona against Apoel Nicosia. Who else? Because it's a side that's coming to the camp now. A Cyprus team, you know, based in Cyprus. We've not had a lot of visitors come to the camp now from Cyprus in the last few years. I think they're something like the fourth team ever to visit the camp now in the Champions League. And what exactly are Apoel Nicosia going to bring to the camp now? And are they in a position to possibly trouble us well not really uh, let's be honest about this Apoel when they were drawn in the group alongside Ajax and PSG you know giants of football in, in a number of ways Ajax have got history PSG have got the modern day money the players but Apoel were very much the minnows of the group they're the side that everyone will believe they can beat and get three points against and certainly for us we've got to go to the camp now be switched on they've got to take them seriously but we should certainly be coming away from this game with three points Applewell a bit of background knowledge for you have got a squad that's quite old they're all sort of 28, 29, 30 year olds and some above 30 as well they're getting on they're experienced players for their club but again at this level not many players are very experienced in the European football they've got John Arisa who who uh, was in the Champions League stages for Liverpool all those years ago. He's a player, the only player that you'll really recognise from their squad. Uh, they've played a few matches already in their, in their season so far and they've recorded some wins. They're second in the league. They've got a maximum points of six. So they're a decent side in their own country, I'm sure. You know, they've got some good players, some good local players, I'm sure, in their squad. But uh, in terms of where they rank in the European stage, they're certainly a side that we should be going into the game and beating. But I think the big question in terms of the game is what sort of lineup is Luis Enrique going to choose? Because, of course, three La Liga games, three La Liga wins, and, of course, no goals conceded as well. So so it begs the question of who's going to start in our first Champions League match. Now, a lot of people are tipping this one to be a very, very high scoring game. Uh, a game which we come away with a lot of confidence from. And certainly that's what we want to do. We want to go into this game, get a good goal difference, um, get some confidence going, keep the um, you know the momentum going because they had a great start of the season. There's some very, very on-form players in our squad and we need to keep that going. So the side that I'm going to choose is Ter Stegen in goals. I think he deserves a start because, of course, he's fit now again. Claudio Bravo regained his place in uh, the game of the weekend against Athletic Bilbao. I think that Ter Stegen des deserves a game. You know, he needs to get some gains under his belt uh, because, of course, we're going to be looking at him in the future to be our number one goalkeeper. I think he'll get a start under Luis Enrique. Left back is a, is a bit of a, uh, a decision, really, because Jordi Alba's played every game so far this season, so possibly it could be time for Luis Enrique to give Adriano a match because he's fit again now. Um, personally, I'd go with Jordi Alba cause just because it's our first Champions League game. We don't want to take them too lightly. You know, they're a side that could possibly sit back for the entire game and attack. Um, and, you know, you don't really you don't really want to take these teams too lightly in case they do cause an upset. So in terms of, you know, what, what we're going to do, what the lineup is going to be, we do need to put out a decent lineup, a team that is possible of beating Apoel Nicosia. And for that reason, I go with Jordi Alba. Uh, right back, again, a, a difficult one. Danny Alves is fit again now. He had a slight knee injury at the weekend. So I think I'd probably go... Maybe with him, but I want to see more of Montoya. I want to see, I thought he was decent at the weekend. I didn't think he was incredible, but I don't think he was bad either. I thought he had a quite a decent game. I'd like to see a bit more of him. I need to be convinced by him. He needs to get a run of games under his belt. He needs to feel trusted. And certainly I'd start to play him in, in, in more of the bigger games as well, if, if you know, if it's possible. Uh, I think Mark Bartra deserves a match. Whether he'll get it or not, I'm not really sure. I think he hasn't started a single match in La Liga so far. He came on in the first game against LJ, played well. Not really sure what he's got to do to get some games, but um, hopefully he can get one here because he's a young lad. He needs some confidence, you know, needs some game time. And certainly this year, I'll be hoping that he gets a bit more first team action because he didn't. He didn't get too much last season. Didn't get much the season before. He's coming of age now. And Mark Bartra, you know, he's made his Spain debut as well a week ago. He needs. To to be getting some game time, and I hope that he can get some in this match. Uh, Gerard Piquet could play. Machu Vermalen isn't quite fit yet. He's back in training, but he's not going to get the medical green light until Saturday's match against Levante. He may well play in that game, but this game has come too early for him. So maybe Machu, maybe Piquet. I'd probably go with Machu. He's been a, a superb signing. You know, we all moaned about the fee when he joined, but he's been a very good player, very very solid at the back. Um, very, very good in the air, good in a tackle, a strong player, and I think he's done really, really well. He's settled in very well, his distribution is good, and uh, I'd start him alongside Mark Bartra. Defensive midfield, there's only one man for that, Sergio Busquets. 
Mascherano could play there, but I would play Sergio. Um, he deserves to play every game, you know, in terms of, in my opinion, he's a, he's a superb player, uh, a brilliant defensive midfielder, and uh, I think we know when you can play him, when he's fit, play him, because um, he's, he's a consistent player, he plays most of the time, he, he doesn't do an awful lot of running, so he doesn't need to be, you know, kept aside, you know, don't need to rest him at any stage, so I think Sergio, you know, certainly in the team. Midfield's an interesting one now because, of course, Iniesta and Rakitic have been the main players in the La Liga campaign, although Iniesta was injured for the, the match uh, before Villarreal. So maybe you want to rest him, maybe you want to bit, give him a bit of a rest. But, you know, the thing with Iniesta is, you know, when the crowd pour into the camp now, that's one of the guys you want to come and see, isn't it? Andres Iniesta is just a, a superb player. He's one of the ones who you look at in the lineup and you think he can make that difference because he's just sublime, really. Um... So whether you want to start him and risk him, um, or you know, we don't have a particularly difficult game on the weekend either. You know, at Levante, difficult away game, but um, I would start Iniesta here because basically, you know, I think there's a lot of people who are saying you know give different players a chance, and I do stand by that. But at the end of the day, it is our first Champions League match. Um, you know, we want to get some points on the board, we want to get some goals. So I think start with a good team, and then if we're winning, if we're three, three, four nil up, for two, three, four nil up, then you know you can bring on some players, bring on some fringe players, the likes of Rafinha. Um, I think it'll be interesting to see if Xavi starts because, of course, we've not seen him yet this La Liga season, uh, which is, of course, it's upsetting. Um, we saw him for a few minutes against Villarreal. And he's, he's still got it, hasn't he? You know, he's not got it in his legs. He's not, you know, the fittest player. He's not. He's getting on now, but he's still got that just brilliant ability to be able to hold on to the ball, passing of the ball, controlling the pace. And um, I want to see him play because we all miss the Xavi and Yester partnership in our midfield. So I, I do hope that comes back in this game, and I'd I'd like to see him start personally. Um, and then you know you look at your strikers, and and that's uh, that's pretty much given. I think I think Neymar and Messi have to start. Neymar hasn't has only started one game for us this season so far due to international duties and slight injuries. I think him and Messi need to play as many games as they possibly can with each other. The partnership is growing; it's it's strengthening. And I think certainly in this game, you want to see them both playing. You want to see them alongside each other, linking up and uh, scoring some goals. Um, the other player in attack. Pedro was okay against Bilbao. He wasn't, you know, startling. He needs some form. He needs a goal. I'm not really sure I'd start him, to be honest. I'd probably go with Manier again. You know, he started um, every single La Liga match for us so far, which is pretty incredible for someone who, before the season, wasn't even, you know, in the under-21 side. Um, you know, you've got to call it to Spain under-21. Then he went to the national side, the full team. Then he was promoted to our B team. And it's, it's an incredible rise from such a young striker. And I, I would start him again here because the more games he can get, the more experience he can get at the top level. And certainly in a Champions League match, that's what you want to be seeing. And uh, hopefully... Uh, uh, many here can can start here and maybe get a goal as well. But um, that's the lineup I pick. There's a few, you know, alternations. You could play some different players. You could chuck Rafinha in. You could put Mascherano in defensive midfield. You could play Gerard Piquet. You could play Adriano, Montoya, Dani Alves. You know, you can make some alterations in that side. But I think the main core of the team has to remain because I think this is a game we need to win. A game we should win, though, against opposition who are not in the same league as us. They're not in the same class as us. So hopefully we can go out there, get the win, get some goals going, get the confidence going, get the crowd excited. And uh, the Champions League returns. And that's always a happy time for Barcelona fans. It wasn't a brilliant competition for us last season, but this season we're determined to make our mark. And we start right here at the Camp Nou against Apoel Nicosia. Join us tomorrow night and we'll be seeing the game live at the Camp Nou at quarter to eight UK time. And it's here and we're ready for the Champions League. Watson! Watson!